host, your best friend, Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Snack Time with Schnell. First things fucking last. You're going to need some Cheerios for this mission here. This is going to be a very, very quick little way to make a little healthy breakfast for yourself. So, first things fucking last. Like I said, get some Cheerios. I like putting them in a Ziploc bag. They stay fresher. They stay more fresh. I guess that's the proper term. But you're going to want a plate, a paper towel or something, and a glass bowl, regular bowl. It doesn't really matter. But first off, we're going to also need a spoon. Sorry. Boop. So... Put in a decent amount, not too much. That's, that's about decent. Depends how how hungry you are. I actually just broke this, I'm gonna have to replace it. But uh alright, right now the only fruit I have to really work with is a banana. Hello? Yeah, I'm making a video because it was um, requested by a buddy of mine and it's been about a year since I did a snack time with Chanel little episode webisode whatever the fuck you want to call this but you need a banana and I wish the banana could go get the rest of its fruit friends because I really do need some raspberries strawberries and pretty much everything else but we're kind of making Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> this is what happens when, you know, your bananas are too... Well, this is for baby rabbit Hodor. So, we're gonna put this over here where I put the scraps that I feed to my little baby rabbit who lives in my yard. But anyway, we still have a banana, and that's all you really... That's the most important part of this meal. And... We're gonna chop this fucker up. I say, I give these to the fucking squirrels. They make like, they put them in their like, uh, I don't know, there's a big tree in my yard and they have like a bunch of uh, families, I guess, living up there. But they always take them and eat them. Same thing with the birds. But you're gonna wanna chop this up. You don't need a sharp knife, I mean, I like using a butter knife because sometimes you'll fuck up and like do that and then you don't have to like worry about cutting your fucking fingertip off. So use a butter knife if you're cutting up a banana. It doesn't need, you know, some gnarly Cutco knife. And the thinner slices you get, see like right there, that probably would have been stitches. I have like, this is grease on my hands. It's just stained on there. I already washed my hands. That's the most important fucking step. Wash your fucking hands. Don't be a scumbag. All right, so that little bit of banana gave me a good amount. So we're not gonna put this on top yet because I like mixing. Even though we don't have a full fruit bowl to work with like usual, this is plenty, so we're done with the knife, but usually you use it to cut your strawberries up the same exact way that I cut up the banana. So, here we go. Now, how many blueberries should I add here? This is gonna be for my dad, he's a diabetic. Uh, they recommend eating blueberries, but I don't know how many of you uh, read decibel when lemmy was still alive r.i.p um he actually was overdosing on blueberries because he take he would take everything to such excess like how the fuck do you od on blueberries it's like crazy his doctor was like you need to stop this right now and this is a bummer 
Like, look at this fucking mutated mo. What the fuck? Like, these are brand new, like, blueberries. There's, yeah. Just one bullshit one. You might have to do that. Fish through. Make sure you're getting good stuff. I, I like foxy blueberries, um, but whatever. We're going to probably go with a little more than eight or ten. Probably, you're good enough with like a handful. Like, just take a handful like that. And here's the fun part. And here's why I like using like a paper plate or just something you can bend, like a taco shell. And then grab your cereal bowl and you're gonna wanna spread it around. Some of your banana might get stuck like that. I don't know if you could see it in the light, but just one little piece. So, and you're gonna wanna mix it up a little bit. You might lose some Cheerios in the process, but, and here's an extra use for that plate because boom. We kind of have ourselves now a little breakfast fruit bowl. So let's fucking take it to my dad, get him fed, and um, yeah, let's get on with the fucking day. Thanks for watching, and um, yeah, I've been getting a lot of requests to bring back snack time with Chanel. I don't really eat out like I used to, and um, I obviously quit drinking, so, I mean, I used to just get drunk and make these videos because <laughs> they were just fun and I was fucking wasted and I wanted food, so <laughs> I would just, I was a fucking, dude, I weighed 200 pounds and now I'm back down to 166 and that's where I'm gonna fucking stay, and, uh, yeah, it all was from quitting drinking and just, I work out a lot, riding my bike with cardio. I try to do this Henry Rollins workout that he had a interview on Joe Rogan's podcast where he was talking about when you listen to an album, every time you flip a side, do 25 push-ups. And yo, that shit works it's, it's a great way to you know get your blood flowing and just to feel good like early in the morning especially like before you add your coffee try to do at least one rep of 25 push-ups just to get your blood flowing and uh it might i know it's hard especially like if you party i mean uh i used to party every fucking day but uh Nowadays, I mean, it's just, you know, some bud, and it's legitimately, like, no bullshit, pretty much 98% medicinal, like, my tendonitis is no fucking joke, it sucks, and I do not like taking the, um, anti-inflammatory, it is a good anti-inflammatory agent, but... Pineapple has the same anti-inflammatory agents as ibuprofen. So if you're ever on like a road trip and uh, you don't want to spend $7 on a bottle of ibuprofen because your ankle's swollen, go buy yourself a fucking pineapple for like $1.50. Eat that shit. I have two whole little uh, cut up pineapples in my fridge but I'm not mixing pineapples with bananas and blueberries that would taste terrible with Cheerios but yeah it's a really good little quick healthy fruit bowl and it's a great way to get your day started and uh yeah I'm gonna go feed my dad uh no this wasn't too entertaining but uh yeah thanks for watching Pails